Well, we have arrived at the Isle of Palms near Charleston, South Carolina. It is kind of gloomy. It's supposed to warm up to 61, I think. Right now it's kind of gloomy. And so, there we go. People are picking up shells and it's supposed to be sand dollars and shark's teeth and so there's a couple of my people down there my girls and then up here let's not spin is my daughter my granddaughter we're in a condo back over that away not that green one there but one behind it and anyway, we have arrived in Isle of Palms. Actually, we got here last night, but it was like two o'clock in the morning. So we went straight to bed. This is our first view of it. So there you go. Me and three of my daughters and my granddaughter, one of my granddaughters, uh, went on a trip on Thanksgiving weekend to Charleston, South Carolina. This trip was a gift for my 60th birthday. And um, so we loaded up in the van and took off. Had an absolutely wonderful, fun time. I had always wanted to visit Charleston and Savannah. So now we're in Charleston, we're on Battery. And there's a little park here with monuments. And then right behind that, Everybody's watching some dolphins. There's about three dolphins out there. Everybody's watching. I don't know if I can get them on here. There went one there. I don't know if I can. Oh, yeah, there's one. Oh, they go down before I can get them. There's one over there. There's about three of them out there going up and down. We're fixing to walk along Battery in front of the old houses. Oh, there he went. Yay. <laughs> and uh, so I got the opportunity to go to Charleston. We had fun going there, uh, riding with uh, the five of us. And uh, when we got there, we saw the beach, which I had been to the ocean before, but down in the Gulf uh, and Florida, never been to that side of the United States to the beach or to the ocean. So um, it was beautiful. Can you hear him? He's talking to us. Hello. 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 Hello
He's waving. Look, he's waving. He's Aww. waving at us, sis. <laughs> Hello? What else can you say? What's up? Manners. How are you? He's waving. How are you? He's not messing with y'all. <laughs> one leg. Look, one leg. He's doing tricks, sissy. Oh, he left. <laughs> what do you think about him, sis? <laughs> He's pretty cool. Hello. 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 Did you hear him? And uh, we ate seafood quite a bit. Uh, I love seafood, so it was wonderful get to get to eat all that uh, seafood down there. Um, <clears throat> one of my favorite places was called the Acme Low Country Kitchen, which was close to our condo in Isle of Palms. Like I said, my favorite place to eat was the Acme Low Country Kitchen and uh, had a lot of shrimp and grits there. And I had never had shrimp and grits before. I'd had shrimp and I've had grits, but I never had it like they have it. It is absolutely delicious. Uh, we also went to the McLeod um, Plantation. I enjoyed the plantation. I, I didn't care a whole lot for our tour guide. I felt like he uh, said a few things that I didn't agree with, which is fine, but uh, he was supposed to be telling history and a couple of things he said I didn't particularly agree with. So whatever, you know, I think it was, he was putting a little more opinion in there than fact, and that's okay too. Um, but um, it was a nice place. Um, uh, beautiful, beautiful place, and we enjoyed that, and uh, I wanted to go to more plantations, but we just didn't have the time because it was a weekend trip, uh, Thanksgiving weekend. We left after we eat Thanksgiving meal with our family. We left and took off. Think about it like two different rolling pins that are squeezing out all the sticks and twigs and seeds and things, and then anything that doesn't come out after it passes, it's going to be taken out by hand. We know that McLeod Sr. is paying taxes. First person, you're going to begin to learn a skill at the age of six years old. By the age of 12, you will be expected to do the work of a full-grown adult. The first Georgian four over four style, which basically means there's four equal rooms on the first floor, there's uh, four equal rooms on the second, separated by a hallway and a staircase. Uh, the first two levels have windows going all the way around, as well as individual fireplaces in every room. The upper most level where the slave would be had none of those things. It only has eastern and western windows. The primary breeze always comes from the south. That's why the house is facing this way. Um, and the uppermost level where the enslaved are has no fireplaces at all. So it's an unpleasant experience no matter how you slice it. Now, uh, this garden now cloud plantation. Immediately to the south of that is another plantation. Immediately to the south of that is another plantation going almost all the way down to Folly Beach. And there are plantations to the immediate west of us as well. Hang on, let me zoom in. Are you? I'm videoing. This tree is older than a hundred years. And you the planner class and try to get back onto the land to force them to sign work contracts. Once the planner class is able to utilize the federal government and the military, though, now they can force the freedmen to destroy those land contracts and sign those work contracts on pain of death.
we took a couple of tours. We took a tour in the old exchange and took a tour down in the dungeon. That was very interesting, and the history behind that was amazing. And uh, all the history, there's just some really old, um, interesting history um, around Charleston. According to British law, by the 20th day, if the taxes had not been paid on the merchandise, and it could be seized by the crown. And that's exactly what they did. Customs officials had not had the taxes paid on it, and we offered it off for one hundred percent profit. We then took that money to bought money, and we bought one power, and we bought uniforms. The British Empire had been inadvertently funded the very beginning of the American Revolution in Charleston, South Carolina. And then on the way back, we uh, ended up uh, going to uh, through the uh, Smoky Mountains. Of course, on the way out there, we went right by um, the Smoky Mountain National Park and uh, <clears throat> decided on the way home we would stop at a couple places there. It was a great weekend. Thanks for watching.